We have something very special to show you. It's made by our good friend Manny. Jomar? Let's see it. BAM! POF bass drum head. Let's look at it real close. Awesome. How does this make you feel, Jomar? Really happy. Really happy. Customized drum head on a bass drum. It's always a good thing. Is it gonna it would look really cool on his white drum set over here. But we're actually gonna use it for the music video tomorrow. So yeah. get a look. It's gonna be on this type of gold. It's gonna be on these colored drums tomorrow. We got we got snare drums everywhere. You just kept saying 13. There's Jomar's new symbols too. That's why I was really confused. Hey. Well, Closer is there. Well, technically, there's two versions of Closer. One is the uh, the album version, and one is the single version. For length uh, sake, for time sake, I'll just record the. Uh, I'll just show you guys the uh, studio or the radio edit of this track. Um, so basically, it starts out. The song is in uh, A minor for the most part, and a lot of the bass stuff is kind of outlining an A minor chord throughout the verses. So it starts off um, with uh, eighth notes on the. Starting on the A, I usually use fourth finger, um, second finger, first finger, go kind of walk down the scale. Uh, so it's A, G, F. So it starts out. Uh, and in between, by the way, I like do a quick hammer on from the open E, kind of, it's in the chord of A minor, so it, it sounds nice. This is the fifth. next part, you go back and forth between the C and uh, all the other notes walking down the scale. So it's A, C, G, C, F, C, and then I do a little run down, so it's D, C, B, C, G, A. So I just, again, like I said, outlining the A minor chord. So it's... Well, the first part of the intro. And then um, the second, I guess you would call it intro part two. It kind of just continues with that same progression. But I um, I play them all along lines of like the background there. It's more just, you know, I'm accenting what, the, what uh, Joe Mars doing on the drums too. So all it is is, you know, within that, the, that same chord. you into the verse, which um, I like to outline an A minor 7 chord for the most part. So it goes... So that lick is probably a little more complicated, so I'll break it down. Like I said, I kind of outlined A minor 7, so it's A, C, um, G there, and back to the, down the octave to the A. So it's, which is literally just root 3rd 7 in A minor. And then the next time I go, um, instead of going down to the lower octave, I bring it up to the higher one. Just like a, you know, switching it up now and then, making it a little more interesting to listen to and, and play for that matter. So um, yeah, so then we were at the chorus, which is similar to the second part of the intro, and that it's really not much going on at this point. I'm singing a main vocal as well, so it's um, really it's probably the simplest part in the song. I, I, you know, the chorus. All it is is walking down from A to G to F to open E in between a lot of those notes. 
so. And you can hang on every word I say. You can push through anything, believe. Back to the verse. But a nice. Now how about the bridge? The bridge is probably one of the more fun parts to play in the song as well. So the bridge obviously comes after the second chorus. And uh, when we go right into the bridge, I slide up to the 15th fret on my A string, which is also a C in a higher register. And I really need to just play root third fifth, uh, excuse me, root fifth octave. I usually, um, if you want to take a look at my strumming hand here, I usually do uh, thumb, index, middle, and that's just, like I said, it's um, one five octave, and then I change it to a ninth of the C major nine. It's really kind of a, a simple lick too. It just sounds fun. You let that C ring out, and then the, uh, the next part of the bridge. I guess you want to call it the um, second part of the bridge. Um, let's see. Oh, that's when um, I'm pretty much doing the same thing as the uh, rhythm guitar for this part. So it's um, C, G, F, A, G, F. So, I make it a little more interesting and I walk down, down I use my uh, low B string here, so it's... So it's um... C, G, F, F, E, D, C, can I, um, or I should say during the bridge we modulate to C major, so it's just a quick little key change, and in that I'm pretty much just outlining a C major scale. Roses are being honored. So yeah, that's pretty much it. C and then uh, A G C and then the last part of the bridge brings us back into the chorus. It goes. Um, it's just really literally back and forth between A and G. Also kind of like outlining that A minor seven again. part that the only other thing that's different is we go back to that last part that brings it brings us to the chorus the and then the last time so I start it in the lower register and I slide up and then to make it interesting I go um, Six there, and then to a C. So what is that? It's um, A F C. No, that's not A F C. Excuse me. That's um, no, A F C was what? Oh yes, F A F C. Just to make it interesting. All That's how you play closer. If you, if On the bass. You, if you play the bass and know anything he was talking about, because God knows I don't, you can <laughs> put in a process of fusion.bandcamp.com and download this song for free. free. And now you'll be able to play along with us at home and even steal our song for your own yes, band. Yes, if you have any other questions about the bass tracks for any other songs, I'd gladly post a video. I don't recommend them stealing. Yeah, you guys can steal our songs. Yeah, you also submit down steal this album. Just steal all of our music. Jomar. Yeah. 
Yes. That's it. Rose. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this has been another unsuccessful Fusion Friday. We got a music video tomorrow, but it doesn't matter for, for you guys to know.